on a nice steep icy patch, there's a, a few key things you're gonna need to focus on to get down safe. Everyone's been on the, on the top of one of those areas where every single person who comes down just skids it sideways, it's down to the boiler plate, you can see your reflection in it, and you got uh, very few options at this point. The number one thing is, you better have tuned your skis the night before, because if you're out there with dull edges, you really don't have a chance. As, as a racer, this comes from uh, someone with a lot of experience. We tune our skis religiously. That's something to take out of this and, and make sure you start doing. When you get on the steep, icy pitches, you're going to need to commit to that outside ski. But one of the things that's the most common is the, is the over edging. You get that chatter, the bounce. You got to stay on the outside ski, but balanced and be prepared to slide. You know, only a few people are going to cut clean turns across that kind of ice. But when you slide, you have to be able to anticipate that and keep your balance, stay forward and be aggressive. And as Bodhi said, the fundamentals here are the same as we've been talking about. Balance, balance, balance. You got to keep the ankles flexed. You have to use the pole plant to get over. I know we've been saying this over and over again, but for the ice, you have to be quick on the edge and soft on the edge. A sharp ski with just the right amount of pressure will actually grip in the ice. If you get, again, panicked, you're worried about holding on, you crouch down, you flex all your muscles, you really roll your knee in, you over edge, the actual, the pressure will build up so much that the ski just chatters away from you and you end up losing your skis. You have to stand up comfortably over the edge, roll those knees as we talked about, and be soft on the edge. Soft on the edge, always moving and being in balance. That'll keep you holding on the ice. There's a little trick to know about, actually. When you guys find a nice icy patch, Really important to know how to get, get yourself out of trouble once you get into it. It's, it's often that even with, with racing, you come in, you think you got everything on line, you get into your turn and the ski breaks away. You end up on your hip sliding. And there's some times when you can slide it out and just come to a stop. There's other times when you need to get up. Um, you know, you're sliding into people or you're sliding into the woods. This is something that you need to practice before you get into the situation. So if you find yourself on a nice icy patch, just set her down on your hip a little bit and then stick the skis in and catch yourself. This is an area where athletes get hurt all the time, blowing out their knees, um, just being caught off balance, out of position. And you need to know what you're doing to do that. So you do it at a nice slow pace under controlled circumstances. Then when you, when you get into a situation that you know, is not controlled, you may have a better chance of getting up before you slide yourself into the trees. When you guys find yourself on the steeper slopes, tough lighting, in a bumpy situation with crud on the snow and you get a little out of balance, there's a few, a few fundamental tips that I'd like to go over, uh, help you stay up and stay aggressive and um, stay in the driver's seat. The first is width of stance. If you keep your feet a little bit wider, um, keep the pressure on your outside ski, your downhill ski, that'll help with the balance, it'll help with controlling the speed. As you start to get a little faster, a little more out of control, the immediate reaction is to go back. The best way to get out of that is to drive your hands up and forward and try to think about moving down the hill with your, with your downhill pole planting hand. These are things that you have to think about when you're stopped because as you start going down and you get out of control and you lose your balance, it's already too late then. This is the time when you do that, when you're sitting there picking your line, you're focused, you're giving yourself your pep talk, you have all that stuff in order, then you make your run for 20, 30 yards, you stop, you do the same thing again. As you start to develop those skills, it'll all come naturally, you'll be able to rip a whole run with confidence and error free. Using your ankles is key to stay in balance. If you have your knees driven forward and flexing your ankle, you'll actually be stacked up over your feet using your skeleton. As you recall, Bodhi talked about that and the efficiency of the skeleton. Once you shift your weight back, you come straight out of your boots, you end up firing all the muscles in your quad. This is a very difficult position to maintain. And sure enough, if you haven't really been working those legs, they'll give out and you're farther in the back seat. Now you're in big trouble. This can be corrected by just keeping the hips tall, by driving the hands forward, as Bodhi said, and keeping those ankles flexed. When you guys find yourself up on a pitch, a steep face that's just, uh, you're in over your head, my, my tip, this is where you got to revert to fundamentals, but my tip to you is give yourself a pep talk. Sit there, build your confidence a little bit, 
Don't sit there and focus on how you're going to crash and how you're going to biff it down the hill. This is a time when you need confidence. You need to know that you're going to do the right stuff when it comes to crunch time. And then focus on just the fundamentals. You need that pole plant down the hill so that when you can make a good committed turn, you're in balance. If you start getting passive up here on the pitch and you try to do your back seat turn with no aggressive pole plant down the hill, that's when the speed, you can't stay in the fall line for that long down a pitch like this. You'll just get too much speed and then you're going to be in trouble. So you got to stay committed to the fundamentals, get down over your outside, your outside ski, and then make sure you're controlling your speed on a regular basis. But it's all going to come from confidence and commitment. And again, back to the fundamentals, if you're on a steep pitch, you're going to need your edges. And in carving, we talked about using our edges to carve powerful, dynamic, round turns. On the steeps, you need your edges for speed control. So you still need to go back to using your knees to create edge angle, driving your knees forward to create good balanced skiing with ankle flexion, but you have to get those edges in. You're actually going to find that you're going to be doing short turns probably almost like a hockey stop, focusing on one turn at a time to control speed. And heck, if it is only one turn at a time, that's fine. Eventually, you'll get down to some terrain where you can apply the fundamentals you learned in skiing the steeps and get the job done. There's obviously a confidence issue. That's where the pep talk came in. Leaning into the hill, getting back seat, and trying to turn around your pole, as opposed to committing, tipping your body down the hill, and being aggressive into the turn. It's all about having the confidence to get forward, get good knee flexion and bend up into the turn, be aggressive on the outside ski to control your speed. If you get back and inside, controlling the speed becomes a lot more difficult. All right, uh, Phil and I have found ourselves in the somewhat uncomfortable position of uh, being stuck in the middle of a mogul field. The bumps today are hard on top, they're hard in the troughs, it's, uh, it's not a nice place to be. We got a few tips that are going to help you get out of this situation safely and looking like you know what you're doing. Um, my best tip here is stay up on top of the bumps. Pick yourself a line of maybe 20 or 30 yards at max and ski that line and stop. Stay up on top of the bumps to stay on the best snow you can to control your speed. If you get down in the troughs, the moguls are going to start dictating where you're going. You start getting bounced around and redirected in too much speed. Um, that's where you're going to find trouble. So stay up on top of the bumps. Make your turns there, that's where you control your speed, and, uh, and don't get going too far and too fast. And just as we talked about earlier, when you're on top of the bumps, it's all about balance. So you have to use that pole plant so you can come up and be aligned over your feet. Good strong balance, good strong pole plant. You'll be able to get your skis around in your turn, control your speed, just like in carving, just like in the pole plant work we did earlier. It looks all right for the beginning here. Got a couple of good moguls. Stay up on top. A couple quick turns. Yeah, here you can't you can't see anything else from here. So make a little slide over. Get a better line lined up like that right there. Then you can once you get it back in line. Yeah, there we go. Same thing, the lines here are a little messed up. Kind of got to pick where you want to go ahead of time once you get in line.